I have been a bit burnt out on anime, especially seasonal ones. I've tried a few shows the past couple seasons, and outside of sequels or otherwise continuations, there hasn't been anything I've been interested in. At least, that's how I felt until I decided to try Tower of God. As I was watching it, I kept wanting more. It felt like every episode was ending too quickly. And as I learn more about the world and the characters in the story, I keep having more questions and want to see more. And it might be too early to say, but it reminds me a lot of Hunter x Hunter. And considering how much I like Hunter x Hunter, despite not seeing much, that's a good sign. So I thought it'd be interesting to talk about some of the parallels, at least at this point in the series. The first is what got me to want to watch the show, and that is the opening. These shows have a lot of people talk about how good they are, and yeah, that got me interested. But it was when I saw the opening, but when I saw the opening, that's when I knew that I had to give it a try. With Hunter Key Hunter, I love the sense of adventure and hope that filled the song. And the Tower of God has the same sense of adventure, though with a bit more sense of struggle. Both these songs are sung by those who do very little anime openings, which I think is part of the reason they feel so unique. Moving on to the show itself, and yeah, the similarities are pretty obvious. Both shows start with a sense of tests that the characters have to go through to advance. But the thing about these tests is that there's always some sort of twist to them. One of the first ones in Tower of God was the characters being thrown into a battle royale where 400 characters had to be pared down to 200. Many of the characters went all out fighting each other trying to kill everyone that they could which is actually something I disliked at first because it's a dumb strategy. Avoiding conflict while the others kill each other is far smarter. But that's what Dakun was doing, taking this time to find allies. And each test they face challenges them in a different way. Some of it is their own strength. Others is their decision-making or intelligence. And this lets lets the characters shine in unique ways. Plus, that just makes the show really fascinating, and I keep wanting to see what challenges they'll face next and how they'll figure them out. And another similarity between the two is how we don't really know the characters. In the Hunter exam arc, we basically understood Gon what he was after, and while we got a basic idea of the others, there's so much we don't know about them. But despite not knowing exactly who they are, we get these hints, which makes the characters really fascinating. In Hunter Cross Hunter, Killua is the perfect example here. And then with Tower of God, we see the same sort of thing with Kuhn. We know a little bit about him, but there's a lot more beneath the surface. And that's the same with all the other side characters, too. They have their external personality traits, but I can sense there's a lot we don't know. And I want to know more. That's one of the reasons I'm so hooked with this show. And then the world is a place where both Hunter Hunter and Tower God are filled with unknowns. This is in part because of Bam. He doesn't have any memory or know anything about the world. And so since we're seeing the story through his eyes, we have that same mystery. But despite us not understanding the reasons behind everything, the world has an order to it. You have the Tower, the royal family, all these different creatures. And there's a reason here, we just don't see it. And this is actually one of my favorite things I like seeing in anime. A situation where I have no idea what's going on. But I know that there is a reason. And that was the same sense I have with Hunter x Hunter. And then there's the pacing. Both Tower of God and Hunter x Hunter are very patient with how they tell the story. This is definitely due to them being a long-running series, at least in the original. Hopefully Tower of God will get the same thing with the anime. But I appreciate how they don't try to rush through the plot. Each episode presents only what it needs to present taking the time to let the various events sink in. And that makes the show feel really rich. It's not going to answer all the questions by the end of season one. It is not going to pretend that that possibility exists. And I appreciate it. Sure, I want to see and experience all that this show has to offer, but I can be patient because that means that everything I do get will be really satisfying. The show is not going out of its way to impress the viewer or draw them in. It is just presenting a story, letting the quality speak for itself. And I'll be honest, I was not the biggest fan of episode 1. But I think that was actually a good thing for the quality of the show. There are a ton of anime where I love the first episode, but then I get let down as it gets further along. In fact, every show I made a video on after episode 1 is one that I end up being disappointed in for one reason or another. But the shows I love the most are the opposite. They start off a bit slow. Interesting enough to get me intrigued, but they're not trying to be flashy about it. And then they can tell their story over time, draw me in more and more with every episode. 
And it really feels like Tower of God will be one of these shows. So tell me what you think of it so far. No spoilers beyond the anime, though. But now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go wait for the next episode. Or I guess I could read the manga, or actually get back to Hunter Hunter after all that time because I keep talking about wanting to. I should really do that. Anyway, I will see you next time.